Hey there, good morning. From the heart, September 13th, Growing Confidence. And Judges 6, 17 says, If now I have found favor in your sight, then show me a sign that it is you who talk with me. Gideon desired some token that the one now addressing him was the same that spoke to Moses in the burning bush. The angel had veiled the divine glory of his presence, but it was none other than Christ, the Son of God. When a prophet or an angel delivered a divine message, his words were, The Lord saith, I will do this. But it is stated of the person who talked with Gideon, The Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee. Did you know that? That it was Jesus that spoke with Gideon? I didn't know that. Desiring to show special honor to his illustrious visitor and having obtained the assurance that the angel would tarry, Gideon hastened to his tent and out of his scanty store prepared a kid and unleavened cakes, which he brought forth to set before him. Gideon was poor, yet he was ready to use hospitality without grudging. And I know that's hard sometimes. You, you extend yourself and you know you feel like someone's taking advantage of you. As the gift was presented, the angel said, take the flesh and unleavened cakes and lay them upon this rock and pour out the broth. Gideon did so, and then the Lord gave him the sign which he desired. With the staff in his hand, the angel touched the flesh and the unleavened cakes, and a fire rose up out of the rock and consumed the whole as a sacrifice and not as a hospitable meal, for he was God and not man. After this token of his divine character, the angel disappeared. When convinced that he had looked upon the Son of God, Gideon was filled with fear and exclaimed, Alas, O oh Lord God! For because I have seen an angel of the Lord face to face, he thought he was going to die. Then the Lord graciously appeared to Gideon a second time and said, Peace be unto you. Fear not, you will not die. The family to which Gideon belonged was grievously infected with idolatry. His father erected at Ophrah, where he dwelt, a large altar to Baal, at which the people of the towns worshipped. Gideon was commanded to destroy this altar, to cut down the groves that surrounded it, and in its stead to erect an altar to Jehovah over the rock on which the offering had been consumed, and then to offer a sacrifice unto the Lord. Gideon faithfully carried out these directions, performing the work by night, lest he should be compelled to desist if he attempted it by day. Tomorrow we'll talk about righteousness gains the victory. Hope you have a great day today. Live from the heart.